just got done painting this Ozark Body Works logo right here and I'm about to show you how to do it. So from doing the projection chalk outline to what kind of paint to use to how to apply the paint to the varnish top coat that I just applied, I'm about to go through the whole thing. So as you can see, there's a lot of chalk marks in here. And so last night I came out and projected the image since it's so big and it's a logo so it has to be exact. I came out and projected it last night right after dark. And so yeah, so they, today we have just a really good outline to go off of. So the first thing I do is always, if there is some straight lines to use, I always tape it off because it's just a really easy way to get a straight line. Okay, so what I'm doing here with the tape exactly is I'm just making sure that the bottom line really and the top line are even because that's something that can really, that's something you can really point out with your naked eye. And so you can try to do it yourself if you want. Some people do, some of the, some of the veterans do, I've been doing it for a long time. I've been doing it for a long time, but I still prefer just to use tape. Um, it just gives a really clean straight line and it just makes sure everything is symmetrical and everything. Okay, so now we're going to start painting. We have some exterior paint. This is an outside project. This is exterior low luster, so it won't catch a glare from the sun. And yeah, we've got a painting tray, some brushes, some water. Usually take these, these rags as well. And yeah, I think that, oh yeah, and gloves. Gloves, because paint does get super, super messy. So I actually get these small cups and I will just pour paint right into there so that way you're not holding a big thing and your arms can get a break. Okay, so now that we've got some paint in our cup and a paintbrush, I'm just going to show you quickly how to paint this. So these, this tape mark, like, I mean, it's made for painter's tape, like it's supposed to have a really good edge, but it doesn't always. So you have to be really careful and not getting a whole lot of paint on your brush and then just coming in like this to get that straight edge. So just making sure not to just zoop it up right around that line. We don't want paint seeping in and going under it because it's really hard to get off of this type of material. This is just a stone, this is a cement thing, but paint really likes to just catch onto this and seep in and it's really hard to get off. So, slow and steady, I'll just come in, do this, get this corner edge in here. And then I'm actually going to come in and just take that off, just to make sure nothing went underneath it. So yeah, we've got a really, really good line, and keep going, we can just do that the whole way. Okay. Just to make sure that there's no paint seeping under it and make sure we have a really clean line. Okay, so I'm about to do all of this black right now. So one thing really quick, so this is actually a new trick that I literally just learned today um, and we're just kind of trying to figure out today is so this texture on here is really just really uneven and there's a lot of just little tiny holes in here as you can see all these little holes and it's just really super hard to get with just a paintbrush so i'm taking just a black spray paint so this is an outdoor indoor outdoor spray paint and just spraying over it to really just fill in those holes and then i'm going to come back with the exterior latex paint over the top of it and it just just saves a little, little bit of time so I'm going to show you how I'm going to do that right now. And always wear a mask or something because if you, they say that the thing is if you smell it, you're, you're breathing it in, but I don't know, this is the mask helps. So 
basically just like that. And then you want to be really, really careful. So I accidentally oversprayed a little bit right here. So now I'm just going to have to bring that letter down just slightly and maybe bring it down a little bit over here as well. Um, spray paint is really unforgiving. So if you get it on the wall, it's, it's nearly impossible to get it off. So just be super careful. So right now, as you can see, I am doing just the outlines of the letter. And these are something you really have to pay attention to because the tips of around here are rounded and the ones like close to here are pretty straight and they come out to like a flare. So I'm just going around and just outlining everything before we do the fill-in process. It really just helps just to get a visualization of what it's going to look like, the outside of it, before you really slap a whole lot of paint on here. So, yeah, I'm just finish doing this and then we're going to fill in the letter. Okay, so now that it's all painted, I let it sit overnight, so I let the paint cure for at least 24 hours, and now I'm going to spray off all the little chalk marks. So I got this little pumper type thing. I put a little bit of soap in it so it really comes off, but the high pressure water just takes that chalk right off. Okay, so now that it's mostly dry, I'm going to apply a varnish top coat. Um, I use this exterior dead sweat varnish from Modern Masters, and to just speed up the process, I will just put it in the pan and just roll it on. So just like this. Super quick, and this stuff protects it from the sun, it has a UV block on it, and it just protects it from just all things weathering. So we use an exterior paint, but it just it doesn't hurt to put an exterior varnish on it. It just makes it last a lot longer and that UV protectant is really what we're wanting. And that's it. So that's how you paint a logo. So if you have any questions, please let me know and I hope you enjoyed this short informational video.